So for the longest, I had low self-esteem and I did not value myself. And during that time, I had people around me that reminded me of that. Hello, beautiful, and welcome to Cultivating Inner Beauty, where we're all about loving our healthy selves from hair, skin, and nutrition, and that, my friend, starts from within. God promised me some things, as well as God promised you some things, but we have to do things on our part in order to receive the blessing. So in today's video, I'm going to share these tips with you, and I pray that this helps you in staying consistent in your journey. Now, the first healthy habit is to create a consistent routine where you're able to wake up and go to sleep around the same time. I would say wake up early, but some of you may have crazy work schedules where you're not able to do that. So however your schedule looks like for you, then you want to create consistent. One of the reasons we feel like we don't have enough time to do the things that we need to do or want to do, it happens when we wake up and when we go to sleep, the timings of that. And so if we were to truly audit um, what's causing us to stay up late and what's causing us to stay in bed for too long, then we can be productive throughout our day. So assess that and make it a habit. The second habit is to study the word before the grind. One of the things I used to do was time I would wake up, then I would go straight to Instagram and look to see how my picture or video performed, see how many likes and stuff I had. And then I would go to the scripture. You do not want to be like that because what happens is when you consume yourself with what's going on in the world or checking your emails first thing in the morning, then it throws you off mentally. And so I encourage you to spend some time reading the word, spend some time uh, studying some scriptures, even if it's just a scripture. Um, if you saw one of my short uh, lives that I did not too long ago, I talked about the benefits of breathe, breathe prayers. I believe that's what it's called, breathing prayers. And so what you do is that you just focus on one verse. So say you don't have time to, you think you don't have time to read a whole scripture or a whole chapter. Um, spend some time with just focusing on one verse, Bible verse for that day, and just breathe in. And the next out. habit that I did was biblical affirmations. This was a game changer so for me. For the longest, I had low self-esteem and I did not value myself. And during that time, I had people around me that reminded me until I started getting into the word myself. And then I realized what they were saying was a lie and what God was saying was the truth. So what I do now is I focus on what he says about me that is true. And so I know that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I know I am the head and not the tail. And when any attacks come my way, I'm reminded of what God believes about me and what he loves about me. And I could focus on him instead of what other people say. And this helps to build my confidence. This also helps me with um, just being productive throughout my days. Let me tell you, no one on this earth is going to encourage you the way God can. And so you have to keep reminding yourself of that before you walk out the door and start your day with work or wherever else you're going. The next habit we all need is to be intentional. If you're trying to hear from God, but you have no time set aside to spend time with him, then when will you be able to hear from him? If you're trying to lose weight, but you're not making any time to uh, to plan out your meals, to buy groceries, to work out, then how are you going to reach your goals? These are some of the ways that we have to be more intentional, even down to what we listen to. Um, if we're feeling bad and we want to be more encouraging to others, then how are you spending your time to, um, to feel yourself in order to feel others? Uh, what are you listening to? What podcasts are you listening to? What are you watching on TV? Everything and everything that you do counts. So you have to be intentional uh, with how you spend your time. And the last habit that changed my life and will change yours is being consistent and serving others. Always look for opportunities to serve other people. Um, you don't know what your gift can help the uh, how your gift can help the other person. So those are the five habits that really changed my life and I pray that it helps you as well. Now I know that life happens and the devil stay busy and distractions will come, but by creating these habits, it's going to help to fill in those gaps where distractions will usually come in and you'll be more focused and more concentrated on what God has for you. Now, if you're watching this and you're like, cool, but I still need some help, especially in the kitchen and with my health, I got you. All you have to do is click the link below, one of my mini links, and I have a free ebook. Yes, free ebook with some recipes to help get you started with meal prepping. This is gonna save you time and it's gonna help you 
uh, to build that habit of consistency, especially in the kitchen. If you're looking for some more support and you wanna chat with me, then you can do that too, clicking the link below. I hope this helps guys and I will talk to you later. Bye beautiful.